Hi, my name is Milo Lines. I'm the golf instructor here at Talons Cove as well as down at Superstition Mountain in Arizona. And welcome to my tip of the week. Today we're going to talk a little bit about golf swing sequencing. It's something that's really important and it's something that carries over from other sports. Now, when I watch most golfers play, where they go wrong is right off the bat as they start to pull the club away. This is, they, they've all been taught that they need to make a weight shift. And by a weight shift, this is what they try to do. Now in any other sport, that does not happen. But golf, because we're standing still at, a, at, at the start of the golf swing, we seem to think we need to go backwards to go forwards, which is a misnomer. Now I've got a ball in my hand here, and I like to relate the golf swing to a throwing motion. Now if I was gonna take this ball and throw it that way, I wouldn't go like this to throw it that way. I would go like this and make a nice throw. I only went forward. As my arm went back, my foot stepped like this. Now, a batter in baseball, for example, is going to set up here and he's going to step as his hands go back. Now, how does that relate to golf? How can we make those the same? Well, I've got a drill for you that's going to help you with your sequencing, help you learn how to get yourself moving forward as your hands move back. And the way this drill works, first you're going to make some swings. You're going to start with your feet together. As we take the club back, we're going to make a step and then swing. So you can see as I'm taking the club away, I'm turning my shoulders just like I did as I threw a ball. And swing. Now once I can do that, I'm going to hit a ball. So I set up normal, put my feet together. the shot. After I can do that a couple times, then I want to feel the same sequencing without moving my feet. You can do that, you hit great shots.